Hello everybody and welcome to the stream. Hope everybody is doing well. Hey Jeff, how's it going? Good to see you man. And if there's anybody else lurking around, uh, welcome to the stream everybody. Hope you guys are having a good Friday. Hope you are doing well and welcome in everybody. Go ahead and get started here. Let me uh, just get a couple things going and we'll get started. Hey Lan! One whole year! You're hype. Hey Lan, thank you for that. Give me one second. Let me get my chat up and running. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, everybody. Alright, where is. Chat bot. Hey, light gazer. Oh! <laughs> uh, more than ear, because uh, why not? Land deserves a hashtag land, of course. Well, definitely gets a hashtag for that. <laughs> definitely no problem with that. We gotta get you, uh, let me know what you want, land, and I'll actually get you a, uh, I'll get you some music as well. I don't think I have any music set up for you, so let me know. We'll do that as well. Uh, looks like there's an update, so let me update this. Yeah, there's the update. <laughs> you have a Japanese... Yeah, yeah, I think you said you had a Japanese copy of this. Yeah, I was trying to decide... Um, I was kind of going back and forth between... Um, Trying to decide if I want to do uh, the th uh, the PS1 version or the uh, or the 3DS version. It's kind of going back and forth. Um, I think ultimately I decided. Um, I know a lot of people have some complaints about the uh, the visuals. I guess I guess the kind of the the people are thinking that they don't like the 2D art style of the game. They thought it should have been a little bit more. Futuristic at the time, I guess when it came out back in 2001, I thought it was a little outdated. But I I appreciate the the 2D uh, aspect of the game. So I decided to go with uh, I decided to go with the PS1. Uh, there's some other things, and I just think it's more fun. Um, I missed that a uh, flea market guy there sold. Oh, that would be yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's a usually easy way to get them. But we'll go ahead and get started here. And go ahead and get going. It's a long game. Uh so I do know that I do know that it's gonna. The game itself is a really long game. It's like a hundred plus hours from what I've 
heard from several places. So we're going to probably be on this game for a while. So let's go ahead and just get started here. Alright, so let's get started here. Yep, it's a long one. So let's just get it going here. <laughs> All right. Save to slot one. Okay. All right. And what's going to be kind of interesting with this game, we're probably not going to do any combat for a while, uh, if at all, in today's stream. <laughs> That's like seven of the original. Uh, yeah, something like, yeah, something like that. Yeah, because you can do the first game in like ten hours, might be pushing it. <laughs> uh, I know Dragon Warrior One is. Extremely short. <laughs> you could say it might be more than seven of the original Dragon Warriors. <laughs> it might be closer to like ten of the original Dragon Warriors. Uh, we'll get started here. I'll let the kind of the in initial intro here play out and then uh, and then we'll kind of play it by ear. Um, we're gonna let it go and we're gonna basically try to get the intro and try to get the full story here if we can. One thing I do know, uh, let me read this first. Phew! Let's call it a day and head back to the castle. <laughs> Where's that exit? Oh, here it is. Push up on your side. Remember, this is our secret. Shh. My father mustn't find out. <laughs> lizard. Cute lizard. <laughs> Mystery hand. From what I understand, we pretty much don't see that lizard the rest of the game. <laughs> kind of a mystery, uh, mystery uh, cameo, and he disappears. <laughs> uh, can't wait to see how good the new Lego Sonic turns out. Yeah, hopefully it comes out well. Look to see uh, what they kind of uh, finish it up with. No, father cannot find out the secret. No giggity implied. <laughs> right. Are you ever gonna tell me where you keep going, uh, sneaking off to? Nah. As always, you're a man of few words. Well, I better get my, uh, I better get back to bed uh, before my father finds out I'm missing. But I expect to hear everything later. Oh, my. I almost forgot. Tomorrow is the Ammon Harvest. You should get home, too before your parents realize you're gone. Remember, Flapper, I want to hear all about your adventure. Don't worry, you can trust me. Bye, Flapper, I'll see you tomorrow. And she gone. All right, start adventuring. Level one. Man, <laughs> Flapper, Fisher Son. No gold, no XP, 25 HP points. <laughs> uh, it's the kitty, but yeah, we can pet him. I like in this, uh, what I do, uh, one thing I do know the difference. Uh, I know, like, I like in this one, you can actually pick up the, the, uh, the items and uh, toss them. Uh, to try to see if there's any treasure and all that in in these crates, you can rotate the camera. 
in the 3DS version, uh, they changed it to where all you can do is you punch the crates and I guess they pop open. But I like actually being able to kind of pick them up. I think that's more fun. Hey, I got three golds. I'm on the board. Alright, so that's his house. We're going to keep looking. Alright, so there's something you can do over here, but we can't really get in there just yet. Uh, the stiff lane, the darkness of night is almost total. Alright, so you can't get in there right now. So you can only go in there during the daytime. <laughs> Uh, better camera controls than Mario. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Already a win, yeah. That, those controls were horrible. And... When's the Dragon Quest, uh, the remake? I've heard about that, but no, I haven't seen anything about it. Meow. <laughs> It's a bad idea to leave the village at night. It's one way to lock you in. Can't go there yet. Locked from the inside out, so you can't go in there. You go up top of the church. <laughs> I don't think you can really do anything up here. <laughs> okay. Let's keep looking. You go in the church. <laughs> Why, it's Flapper! I suppose you want to hear more from beyond the sea, right? I hear a Mabba! Hey, Baba, how's it going? I too wondered what lay beyond the sea when I was your age. Might there possibly be new countries or villages? So I outfitted a ship and put out to sea. No matter how far I went, there was nothing but ocean. There were no islands, no countries, no villages, nothing at all. It became clear that in all the world, there is only this one island. This village, this castle, that's all there is. Somehow I find that hard to believe. It may take, uh, it may make you feel empty inside, but this island is alone in the world. Do you understand? Sure. Alright then, go on back home. The annual Amit harvest is tomorrow. You'll need an early start if you don't want the boats to leave you behind. <laughs> I see a Baba. <laughs> Shush, bot. Don't you know what lurking is? <laughs> I know, he interrupted me right when I was uh, getting to the good stuff. Band queen bot. <laughs> That'd be nice if you could. Yep, never mind the boats. Yep. Hey, I found an herb. Alright, just for you, Baba. Locked from the inside. Locked from the inside. I'll take five gold. Can we go on the boat? Nope. <laughs> no ramp. <laughs> Alright, just for you, Baba. Meow, meow. All right, I think that's all we can really do. All right, let's uh, yeah, these reset. All right, let's go home. 
It did the line now, right? It's 421 instead. Nothing there. We got some barrels over here, though. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Z, 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 Z. It's Flapper's father, uh, Borcano. He's sleeping. Z, 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 Z. Molly is uh, quietly sleeping. Huh? Why are you still up, Flapper? If you don't get some sleep, you won't be ready for tomorrow. Alright. Now, don't mind me. I'm just going to take some of your things here. Gonna take your money. Don't mind me. <laughs> I see treasure. Flapper gets one ten gold. Great, you found leather. Is that the leather strap? Uh, sure. Alright, let's go to bed. <laughs> uh, did you take my money out of the drawers and gamble? Of course. Flapper, wake up already! The sun's already risen! Hi, Mama. Are you missing any money? I didn't take it. Today is the annual almond harvest, Flapper. Your father already left some time ago. Get up and hurry to the harbor! Yay! <laughs> Are you ready? Imagine a sleeper's uh, fisherman's son sleeping in on a day like this. Now hurry over to the harbor and help your father out. Are you ready? Imagine a fisherman's son sleeping in on a day like this. Okay, we just saw that. What if that would have knocked her out? <laughs> Where's the exit? Oh, wait a second! <laughs> yeah, it still works. Take this to your father, would you? I've made a fish style for him. He never sets off uh, without eating one first. Father's at the harbor by the temple. Come on now, out you go. Fish sub. Perfect for a flapper. All right, well, it's daylight, which means we can break into some houses now. I mean, adventure into some places. Start over here. Flapper obtained two gold. Great, you found the herb. Flapper obtained the herb. All right, Ababa, I got spares. <laughs> Flapper obtained one gold. A heavy stone lid lies here. It looks impossible to lift by yourself. I need backup. Or something. <laughs> Sharon is caring. Alright, let's see who else we can break. Ah, oh, cool. What did I just pick up? <laughs> now you can just pick it up and run with it. <laughs> And you can take it with these leaves too. These two over here, yeah. You can take all the flowers. Meow. <laughs> uh, if I understood Japanese, I would try this game, <laughs> right? 
Well, you can uh, play through me. These, uh, I assume these uh, come into play later. You can do something with these later or something. Oh, look who's here! You're helping your father today, aren't you? He's letting my son take the helm for the harvest this year. I'm so happy. Uh, Orkano is such a great man. Oh, I just can't wait to eat some of all the fish they'll bring back. I guess I can't take uh, granny uh, panties or anything. <laughs> Thank you, Zero. Uh, he's on Discord. He's saying uh, Dragon Warrior 7 is so good. <clears throat> I'm about to find out. I see treasure. Great, you found the Death Seed! Flapper obtained the Death Seed! Alright, I think that's it for this house. Alright, so she's blocking the way. This is Fish Bell, a small bell surrounded by sea. Oh, it's you, Flapper! I suppose I didn't need to tell you that. Ha 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 ha! The Amet Harvest is today, so. Everyone should be at the harbor. I'm sure you know where it is by now. Ha 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 ha. These houses are done. Can't go by without petting the kitty. Let's go in here. I see treasure. I think we're at, I think we're at the point where we can't steal anymore. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Nothing useful. Nothing useful in the hanging sack. Flapper, check the treasure chest. Chest was locked. How rude. your father again flapper uh, he's lucky to have a son like you my daughter on the other hand she's a lazy bum <laughs> has already run off someplace that Mary Bell where did she go what a headache she gives me I'll take your stuff while she's gone on the hairband. <sighs> Kitty's getting feisty. This house is cleared. Alright, guess we go to the festival. Uh, 
There's a lot of people. Probably not too much going on here. Oh, it really is a good ship to, uh, to be on board a ship. Uh, this year, I'm thinking of heading in a more northern direction, seeing as how Borkana recommends it. <coughs> Just by luck, I managed to aggravate my, co my cold. <coughs> Why did this happen? Uh, I have to have it when I was finally going to be allowed to board the ship. Uh, what uh, inopportune timing. I always seem to choke when it counts. <sighs> oh well. Oops, I see treasure behind me. Borkan is probably right, but I'm not too sure about changing the regular fishing spot. But you see, Amit uh, is just a... Um, it is just uh, this kind of current that gives me confidence. I don't want to sound arrogant, but we fishermen are experts on the mood of the fish. Well, that's true. Hmm. Hey, isn't that Flapper? You came to help out Dad, did you? Flapper, where were you? Your mother could have given uh, birth to another child, and I could have had him bring me the sandwich in the time it took you to get here. You didn't forget it, did you? Mmm, just wonderful. Fishing can't begin until I've eaten one of these. Munch, munch. What are you doing, Flabber? Don't just stand there staring. Go clean the cabin or something. He's bossy. Thank you. Uh, give me one minute. Uh, I think I put my drink in the other room. I'll be right back. COVID. It's my stream. I banned the flap. Uh oh. Don't ban me. Alright, let's grab some treasure. It just was empty. Now that's rude. Did you get some tofu? Uh, just regular water. Hey, ballin! It's a ballin! Funny how there was more there was more gold in the barrel than there was in the actual treasure chest. Do you uh, presume to think that you understand my feelings? I'm gonna bother. <laughs> of course you don't understand. How could one so young understand the pain of leaving your spouse to go on a dangerous voyage? Nobody can understand how I feel right now. Preach it, brother. <laughs> it's one time at band camp. Uh oh. <laughs> I got a new flute. Oh, awesome! When did you get it? Did you get it uh, like this week and that? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to click start, you just walk on it. It's, it's a good improvement. 
I see Maribel. We're gonna ruin her time here. Watch this, I'm gonna clear this spot out for her. Hey, Maribel. Quiet! I'm Hunter Flappas. I can't let anyone find out I'm here. Hmm, is someone there? Maribel, you're trying to stow away again, aren't you? I thought you were told not to come on this voyage. Oh, come on! Why can't I come along, huh? <clears throat> All I wanted to do was try some of that amazing stew you make. Flattery will get you nowhere, Mary Bell. Now get off the boat before your father blows his lid. Oh, good flapper. Come help me uh, peel some potatoes. <laughs> uh, you got it yesterday. It was on sale. Awesome! <laughs> That's good. You been playing it like all day? <laughs> it's fine, but I would be doing if I got a new instrument. Just for that, I'm gonna tell everyone about your little secret base. No! She knows all my secrets. How could you? Even we of the castle uh, have heard of the amazing prowess of Borcano of Fishbell. You should be proud to have him as your father. On the other hand, his younger brother is known in the castle town as a... Um, oops! My sense of propriety won't let me speak ill of other people. Just pretend you didn't hear that, okay? Alright, just for that, I'm gonna wreck your pots. You found the omelet snack. I'm sorry, Flapper. The potatoes are already peeled. Well, my job's done. Guess it was so busy. Yeah, I was so busy yelling at Mary Bell that I forgot I had done that already. She's quite a handful, isn't she? Well, I guess we're done here. It's a party! Flapper, I know you're anxious uh, to be able to come with me on a fishing voyage. But you'd be a hindrance at this point. How rude. Man, everybody's rude in this game. <laughs> Continue to work and train hard and someday you may become a master fisherman. But I'm the Flapper. How can you not want my help? After all, you are my son. Dad's so rude. There is something you can do for me, though. Please take care of your mother while I'm away. Guess my dad doesn't want to be around me. <laughs> hey, Kyle. Raise the anchor! Is there a cake? There should be cake. But knowing the way uh, the game's gonna be, cake would be a lie. Yeah, we got some daddy issues. My daddy doesn't want to be around. Bye, daddy. We're done here. <laughs> All right. Guess we head back home. Guess we we'll go talk to the uh, go talk with mom. Mommy, daddy left us.
The king has requested an audience with you. Now we're talking. You are to travel to the castle immediately. Take the road by the seashore and you should reach uh, Estard, which is in the northwest. There's Maribel. Hee hee hee. Gee, where have I seen that before? I heard that you uh, were called to the castle, Flaffer. I'm going with you, alright? Sure. They're selling lots of cute dresses in the town around the castle. Oh, that's why you want to come. She just wants to go shopping. Uh, he's dressed. Tess and lots of schoolwork since it's the end of the semester. Uh, he'll be okay. I don't think it's too difficult at this age just yet. Just take it one, one day at a time. Just get through those tests. I'm sure many a Baha will be fine. <laughs> What's wrong, Flapper? You've been strangely quiet. Listen, if you want to talk, fine. But not when so many people are around. I have an image to maintain. Just don't abuse the privilege of being able to talk to me. Wow. <laughs> there is a fine line between being sociable and being annoying. Yeah, I hope so. Let's go to the castle. Yeah, we got a shop here. General store, what do you got? Herb, antidote, stick. <laughs> Ten bucks for a stick. <laughs> yeah. What I'm doing is I'm going to save my money until we actually get to the area where we can actually fight because uh, it'll be a lot later anyway. Let me equip a couple items what we do have though. Uh, hair bands. Give that to Maribel. Alright, she put that on. Leather hat. We can put that on. Uh, herb, herb, death seed, and snack. Okay. Alright, before we go. Take one on the road. Good day, Flapper. Oh, and Maribel is with you too? It's nice to see you two together. One might even call you inseparable. Adios. <laughs> Self sticks. Ah, <laughs> uh, this girl is so mean, treating you like an annoyance, right? Alright, so we got a couple areas that are in the game. So we've got down here. Three gold. Can't do much in here. I'm sure that'll come into play later in the game or something. Uh, so that's what it was all about. Interesting. Ah, they're gone. Scared all the animals off. Ha 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 ha. As I expected, they all ran at the sight of strangers. Did you come from the town of Estar by any chance? Ah, I see. Then I must tell you something. There's a person who has been fooling around and bothering everyone. What was his name? Huh? Da? Huh? Ah, yes, his name is Hondara. There's a no good loser by the name of Hondara hanging out here. You best watch out. Huh? I suppose you wonder how I know him. The animals of the forest told me. So animals can talk. No, I'm not joking with you. If you love nature, you can befriend animals. You'll eventually be able to speak their language. That's how I know so much. Even though I live deep in the forest, the animals tell me. So that'll come to play later when we can talk to animals. <laughs> Meow! <laughs> hey, I got a 
got a cloth. How can you talk to animals and you can't? Yeah, got the extra ability. Yeah. Well, we'll find out later. Alright, so we got over here. That's where we came from. Alright, we're gonna come over here a bit later. Not too long. It won't be too long. We'll be here back. Uh, we'll be back here soon. But, can't really do this area just yet. Come on, Flapper, what are you bringing me way out here for? I'm tired of your gallivanting around. Let's just get back to us, Dard. Yeah, so you get booted out. Uh, you fought? Yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, that's Dragon Quest for you. We got the main castle there. And, um, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it. Alright, that's the whole world! Alright, you've seen the whole island, guys. Whew, we made it! I'm gonna bow out it. She wants to go shopping. What? Right, I'll, I'll go back home later. I can manage getting back up, my, up by myself. Thanks a lot, Flapper. Well, she gone. I've heard that Prince Kiefer has been up to no good, but I'm sure that the prince wouldn't do anything like that himself. It must be the fault of his friends. Maybe. Woof, woof, woof. I hesitated to say this, but Prince Kiefer worries me deeply. At his age, he should be preparing himself for the throne. I can only imagine how difficult it must be for King Burns. It must be his dad. One gold. Slowly but surely. Probably the church. Yeah. Uh, it's thanks to God that I've been able to live in such a happy times. I come here every day to pray for peace in the world. Creative servants of God, what do you seek in our temple? Maybe we can save. Eventually, you'll be able to see the oracle. Uh, revive for dead party members, detox, or uncurse them. Do a quick save. <laughs> Gold looks like a potato, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> So I gotta go see the king. King's waiting for you. You'll find the castle just beyond that gate. Now hurry. Eh, we're not there yet. Go in here.
Uh, when I saw Dragon Warrior, I was... Oh, it is, it is Dragon Quest. It's the same game. Uh, Dragon Warrior is just what uh, the U.S. calls it. Uh, for the first seven games. This is actually the last game uh, that they refer to it as Dragon Warrior. So, uh, starting with uh, with number eight, uh, it'll officially be referred to as Dragon Quest. Uh, Dragon Quest Eight um, in the U.S. There was a, there was a licensing issue. Uh, there was I guess something uh, trademarked uh, in the U.S. for Dragon Quest. It was like a board game or something. Uh, so they couldn't call it Dragon Quest here in the U.S. Uh, so they had to call it Dragon Warrior instead. But uh, they eventually were able to solve that uh, trademark issue. So when Dragon Quest VIII came out, they were able to call it official Dragon Quest VIII here. I guess renting that house to Hondara was a mistake. He's Borkano's brother, so I thought I could trust him. The drawers are filled with women's clothing. Oh. I hate to say it, but uh, but Honduras owes a half a year's rent. Oh boy, his laziness is legendary. But uh, Deary and I just can't bring ourselves to hate him. This rate, though, we'll have to ask him to leave. He's getting the boot. Where's the exit? I think we found him. Found Hondara. Deeply asleep it appears. Gee, I wonder why. Uh, interesting the names of these old games like Mega Man being Rockman. Yeah, yeah. They gotta change the name around. Yeah, it's an online, it's a MMORPG. So, you can't really, you can't really play Dragon Quest X. Nothing useful. <laughs> there it is, yeah. Won't do anything. Oops. Don't want to get down the stairs just yet. We found a dung! I got dung. Do I want it? And there is... I think there's one other spot I haven't been to. I think it's... I think it's over to the right. Over here. That was actually a weapon shop. Yeah, we haven't been in here yet. So, cloth, traveler, leather, hairband, or a pot lid. <laughs> Be another door to the back side there. Looks like my son Orca has been going out with Ahmed's daughter lately, but I don't really like that girl. She seems a little selfish. Alright, so 
Nothing there. Air is what I was looking for. Another well. Don't peer so far into the well. Pay attention to me. What if you fell in? Go to the castle. Shout. Uh, well the same. Like I said, I'm not going to spend any money right now until later in the game when I need it. I'm going to hold my money. And this is the bank where you can save your money so you don't lose it when you die, when you take a death. I think you lose like half your money if you if you take a death or something, so... You can save the money in the bank so you don't risk you losing it. Kiefer! Has Prince Kiefer not been located yet? <laughs> you fool! I won't forget you this time! Your Majesty, if only for my sake, please calm yourself. I'm sure Prince Kiefer has his reasons for what he has done. Silence! There's no need to cover for anyone else. Huh, Flapper, how long have you been standing there? I've been waiting for you. Come here, subject. Uh, might be getting the Pixel Remaster on PS4. Awesome. Yeah, you'll find all those, I'm sure. Oh, it works on pretty good. I'd appreciate it if you would look into my eyes, Fiber. Would you allow me the simple gesture? Sure. You're hiding something from me, aren't you? No, of course not. Do not feign ignorant. I can see a glint of intelligence in your eyes, notably absent from my loyal subjects. Kiefer has been acting restless lately, almost as if he were driven by some unforeseen force. It's called alcohol, dude. Today that fool carried off a ring, an important keepsake from the queen. I'm confounded by increasingly erratic behavior. The distance between Kiefer and me has grown since his mother passed. As a result, he pays little heed to my words. It seems he has acquired uh, quite a taste for wine, women, and adventure. However, it is uh, time that he accepts his responsibility to the people of Estard. Flabber, will you talk to Kiefer? I guess. Alright, so we gotta go find Kiefer. Somebody's got feelings for the king. Explore here just a little. Oh, it's you, Flapper. I heard Father wanted to see you. Thank you for coming. I'm sure Father wanted to hear from you because you're closer to my brother than anyone. You know, you, uh, they say that apart from this continent, the world's nothing but ocean. Do you believe that? My brother doesn't want to believe there's only one country and one continent in the whole world. And I don't want to believe that either. Think about it. 
whole different country in a completely different place with all kinds of people living there that never met? Isn't that more exciting, don't you think? That's right, my brother's out there following his dreams. And so you go out there too, Flabber, and follow your dreams just like my brother. We got some tacos from a new place, and they're good. Awesome. Mindy Baja likes these shrimp taco bass. Ooh, there you Long ago, the eastern area of this island was marked as a forbidden zone. It's a ghosty area we went to. Heard that some ruins still remain in the deep eastern forest. These ruins are apparently the ancient burial ground for the royal family. And so, I must advise you not to approach the area too closely. Surely you must recognize and appreciate the sacred history that surrounds the ruins. Raiding the quiet resting place of the dead just isn't something uh, people who live on this island would do. Well, you know, we're gonna go for there now. Papaya? I'll take a papaya. You will become a great warrior and bring peace to the world. I thought the world's already peaceful enough. Oh dear, I guess my clairvoyance isn't what it used to be. Found the prison. <laughs> Door's locked. Alright, let's just get out of here. I'm not gonna hang around here too much longer. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and head to the Forbidden Zone. We're gonna go where they told us not to go first. Not we'll head uh, we'll head home as well. We'll head here first. <laughs> I had a thirteen dollar steak. Uh, likely I didn't have to pay for it. Well, freeze always good. Uh, these are probably closer to quesadillas uh, than regular crunchy tacos. <laughs> soft tacos with soft uh, soft flour corn to tor. Tortillas. <laughs> Alright, let's head over here. Alright, I think we found Kiefer. Um, move this over here then. Oh good, Flapper, you finally made it. I wasn't sure if you could make it on uh, here safely on your own. There was no way I was going to tell your mother where I was going to meet you. Anyway, take a look at this. Alright, we got... We got something. Check it out. An image of a staff aloft, uh, held aloft by a sage is depicted. The staff radiates with light. The rest of the pages show image of tablets, but they're all in an ancient language and cannot be read. All right. What do you think, Flapper? The wizard in the drawing looks just like this statue, right? If we do something with this statue, we might find the answer we're looking for. I have a feeling that the sun is the key to all this. 
That's why I brought this. Ta-da! <laughs> the royal family's legendary stunstone ring. If we put it on the statue, I'm certain something will happen. Top of the staff looks promising. I think that's the right place. Okay, I'm gonna place it here. Ready? Sure. Who cares if this has been deemed a forbidden zone? If they knew some, uh, that something of interest lay within its borders, why would the scholars let something as arbitrary as a label prevent them from discovering the truth? Something's got to be going on in the ruins. Something that will change my destiny. <laughs> Alright. What? It looked like it was starting to shine, but nothing happened. Sorry, Flabber, guess I was wrong. Something must be involved somehow, though. I'm certain of it. I'll give you the ancient tome for the time being. If you figure anything out, let me know. I'll return to the castle and look around a bit. See ya. Alright, well he gone. We're gonna come in here later. Over here. Yeah. All right, that's it for here. All right, head out of here. All right, so we've got a uh, we've got a scroll. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and get it translated now. So we're going to head back to the castle. So we're going to actually go uh, where we actually, uh, the one place we didn't go last time. Uh, right over here. Can't go here. That door's locked. Uh, the symbol for the scroll looked like toilet paper. Yeah. Just what they use. We got the intelligence seed. Woof, woof. Two gold. Who do you think you are barging into my house? Get out of here. I'm a busy man. Do you want to give the ancient tome a uh, prince keeper gave you to the old sage? Sure. Oh, so you're a salesman now. Why would I care about some old beat up book? Very well, I'll give you 500 for it. Anything to get you out of my house? Sure. Well, I'd, li I'd like to, but I mean, I don't have the money right now. Why'd you offer? Where did you come across this book? The prince? Did he swipe it? Let me have a look at it. Hmm. Picture of a sage in a bright light. What? The prince tried putting the ring on the statue staff. Ha! Huh. I thought the little prince was a little thick, but 
It seems the Castle of Scholars are even thicker. Let me keep this down for a little while. I'll examine it and tell you what I find. I'll get to work deciphering the text uh, right now. Come back in a little while. So if I take toilet paper uh, and write symbols on it, I can call that a scroll? Sure. Go for it. Did you see something sparkle in the well? I did. I wonder what it is. Someone must have dropped it in there. Alright, let's grab that. You found a pearl. Oh, you found something. Show me, show me. Oh, what a disappointment. I thought it might be valuable. Oh well, guess you can have it. Alright, let's go find Kiefer. big package and his lunch as well. He said he was going out to test something, but I really I wonder where he's going and what he's testing. Five gold. His Majesty's primary concerning concerns lay with Prince Kiefer. So Flapper, I ask you keep a close eye on him. So he's not in the castle. All right. All right. Zoom here. I'm gonna. I might head home. Let me, let me head home. I'm gonna put something in there. Oh, welcome back. Did you find Prince Kiefer? I did. Well, good. The prince is a busy man, you know. Try not to bother him too much, alright? That's it. Right. 
Oh, I think I might know where he might be. He might have gone back to the Forbidden Zone, so let me go back there, maybe? Maybe he went back to try to solve the puzzle again. Nope, he didn't come here. Stealing is wrong. I'm just borrowing it with no intention to give him back. Try to go back to the old man. quite time for him yet. <laughs> Alright, trying to find where this uh, Kiefer guy went. I thought he's in the, he's gotta be in the castle. You can go back to the castle to look again. the castle until a little while ago. He seemed to be looking for something. I saw Prince Kiefer ransacking the treasury, looking for something. Then later he was running around with an old scroll in his hand. This was before. What's he doing? Hunting for hidden treasures? Actually, last time I saw him, he wasn't carrying that old scroll anymore. Yeah, because he gave it to me. his room. He's not in his room.
No, it's not. Useful. Okay, so that girl outside was the sister. You gotta move around. Cause they can easily hide things. Where's that harp guy? I don't remember seeing him before. Abundant with details about monsters, but who could have created them? Eh, he's not much useful. Alright, well, I've pretty much gone through the whole castle. I played a little bit. thought of trying that I just I just wouldn't have time for it and I'm just being honest with myself on that all right all right so I've searched the whole castle he's definitely not in the castle Downtown. 
not so bad. something I think I know where we're gonna go. All right. I think we gotta go back to. Uh... I must have missed this when I logged. Uh, Cause I went there one time uh, after I gave the letter, but I must have missed something. I think I looked at the statue, but I didn't actually look closely at it. Let's go back to the forbidden zone one more time. Here we go. Uh, there's a note from Kiefer attached to the statue. That's what I was looking for. So I guess you got to use the orb to get to get access to the note. How goes it? I have tried everything, but nothing's worked. I'm curious whether you have discovered anything. Please return to my room at the castle. Well, I've been in your room several times, so let's go back. Maybe uh, that'll finally trigger him to show up now.
Well, I just shouldn't make any difference, but, you know, video game logic. Okay, now he magically shows up. Oh, Flapper, I guess you didn't find anything either, huh? I've been trying everything I can think of, but nothing works. Uh, what do the centers in the scroll represent? Huh? Hey, where's the scroll? Do you know where it is? What? You gave it to that old man on the cliff? That's brilliant. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Come on, let's go. Maybe you found something. Find apply device. Yeah, I, I hate when they do that. It's like theory. It's like logically, it wouldn't make any difference because he should be there regardless. But video game logic, they require you to find the to, I guess, use the orb and then you figure it out. Oops, oh, sorry. So we gotta go to the, uh, we gotta see the old man, actually. Oh, you're back. I just finished deciphering the ancient text. What? You deciphered it? So what did it uh, say, old man? Hey, who are you? Oh, you must be that prince. Never mind that. Tell us, did you find anything out? Calm down, I'm about to tell you. From what I can tell, the shining light in the picture has nothing to do with the sun. Nothing to do with the sun? Right, the light symbolizes the glow and passion in the heart of the chosen one. Chosen one? Chosen by whom, old man? I suspect it was the chosen one who created the ruins. I don't really know what's going on now, but I have more good heartedness and passion than anyone. Oh, he's uh, so humble. <laughs> you think you are the chosen one? Well then, let me read uh, what it says you're supposed to do. Chosen one, stand before the philosopher at the door and pray with all your heart. When he sees your purity, the path that you must tread shall be revealed. So all it takes is for a chosen one like myself to wish for the door to open? Ha ha ha. You may be an impudent young man, but that might just help you in the end. After all, miracles can only happen when one believes. You just wait, old man. I'll show you a miracle yet. All right. All right, let's go to the statue. Let's go pray. Oh, your highness, there you are. We've been looking all over for you. The king requests your presence. Please come with us. My father, forget it. It'll be just more of the same from him. Your highness, I beg you. The king, your father, appears to be in a very foul mood today. I fear our job if we don't bring you back uh, to the castle with us, prince. Your highness, I have an aged mother. Uh, my wife just gave birth the other day. Without a job, I'll have nowhere to turn. Without income, I might as well be cold and lifeless in the ground. Alright, alright. I've got to go, Flapper. 
I'll return later, so wait back at home, uh, Lackey. Who do you call Lackey? The night gave way to day. Hey, Flapper, get up! Come on! Whew. You're finally awake. Sorry for barging in so late. After that little affair, my father really let me have it. He even locked me in my room. Ha ha ha. He sure had me where he wanted me. Father's really showing his age. I can't believe he got so upset over one little ring. It must be worth a fortune if he got that worked up over it. Oh well. In any case, let's get going, Flapper. Hurry before the sun rises. Alright Flapper, let's go. Are you sure you're ready? There's got to be something in these ruins. I just know it. I don't care what lies ahead. I'm ready for anything. You're in for the long haul too, right? The old man said all we needed was a pure heart. I ask only that you find us worthy and show us the way. Flapper and Keeper pray together as one. Which I'm sure is the secret since I'm here with him. Huh, what's going on? Obviously, I'm the chosen one. Door's open. I can't believe it. I've tried opening that door a thousand times before. This was the trick to do it. This is incredible, Flapper. I can't wait to see what's beyond here. Let's go. The start of a new adventure awaits. This is quite impressive from the inside. What's this? Look at this, Flapper. There's something uh, strange carved into the floor. Some kind of ancient handwriting is carved there. Do you see that? Looks like some form of ancient script. It's too bad we can't read it. <coughs> Let's just see what else we can find here. Something is written in the letter. I am the guardian of flame. When it sputters out, I am here to rekindle it. I am the protector of the helmet. Somehow Flapper was able to read the ancient script. How did you learn to read ancient writing? It wasn't even touched uh, on in my princely education. And you're just a lowly fisherman's son. Oh well, I suppose it might come in handy. Okay, so according to that clue, we'll write these down. Uh, fire. Fire equals helmet.
later. Okay, and he was talking about uh, putting out the fire. The flame is burning. Do you want to put it out? Yes. Secret door. Treasure. And there's that helmet. All right, so we got the Saint's helmet. Second saint, first saint, third saint, and then fourth saint. Yep. Door sealed shut. Here. Alright, so we got chest over there. Okay. That's it, 10 gold. That's such a ripoff. <sighs> I guess it's the same door, so I'm gonna put it over here. Let's open those doors. Let's go, let's go here. Well, this was a dead end. <laughs> should be moving. Did we get trapped in this room?
Now it moves. I don't know what that was all about. I don't know if that was a glitch in the game or what. Should be no reason why that thing didn't move before. Uh, the legends of the four saints are written here. So those are the four saints that we saw earlier. Uh, the first saint holds earth. First saint is earth. He is eternal, supporting all life, become land itself. Uh, the strength of the earth lies in the armor. Okay, so... Earth... So that also equals armor. Okay, so that's the only clue we got. Oh, no, we... Second saint is wind. Uh, blade of air piercing all that touches it. Uh, so that would be a sword. I think that's a sword. Third saint is fire. This is going to be the helmet. Only cool head. Yeah, so that's the helmet. Oops, I don't want that one. Fourth one is water. Hmm, wait. Wait, I already did sword. Uh, maybe it's, maybe the other one was glove? True strength come from anger or love. The holy sword points the way. So maybe, so maybe the fourth one is sword. Let me go back to the second saint. What must he hold? It's got to be. It's got to be like a glove. Okay, so second sword must be a glove, actually. Alright. Alright, so that's it for this room. Okay. What we want to do is we want to get that gate to open. What we do is this. We have devoted ourselves to pursuing the absolute truth. 
He with a true heart shall be handed the path to his future, but he who uh, with a heart of evil shall lose that hand. Statue of a lion's head is built into the wall. Its mouth is open. Do you want to stick your hand inside? Absolutely. There was a rusted key inside. Flapper got the ancient key. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So we got that key. Now we go to that other room above. So this is everything down here. Now we gotta use the key. Here. Nope, doesn't work on that. Oh, uh, that comes later. Oh, maybe it was down there. Yeah, okay, I think it was down there. Let me go back. There was another door in here. this door right here. No, that was the door. A mural of four trees is drawn on the wall. All trees must sprout their leaves toward the sun. If you have lost your way, traveler, then follow the golden sun. Four trees is drawn on the wall. All right, something about a wall, trees. Can't see the difference between these two. Looks like this side looks like it's lit up a little. I'm on this side. It's in here, right? side looks lit up now.
It's like the, uh... It's like the Lost Forest. <laughs> There's got to be a difference between these two sides. Can't see the difference though. So you go back when you go back here. I know this is a clue. I wonder if it's... If I look at the mural, maybe it's the mural itself is the answer. I think it might be left, right, left, left, because it looks like there's a path on the first tree, it looks like there's something to the left of it, and then the second tree is on the right, and then third and fourth tree, it looks like the little leaf is on the left. So I'm gonna go left, right, left, left. That's it. That was it. Alright, what do we got here? I think the water's gonna flood here. Dragons that serve God live and die by the holy light of the crystal. The great pillars can reveal both legends forbidden and paths forsaken. Place the images in their proper places and your way will be revealed.
Okay, so this is green. Um, let's see. Kind of a wind, wind thing. Just grab that. <laughs> uh, is that a fish? Like a mermaid or something? I can't tell. Blue. That's gold, man. I recognize that one. <laughs> For the red one, uh, I don't know. Red spiky big creature guy. <laughs> Thank you. 
You found an alive acorn. Okay, this will be where the pictures came into play. Okay, I said yellow was gold, man. That's this one. said green was wind, so it's this one here. Okay, we got red and blue-ish. Uh, let's see, it said blue was the mermaid one. Let's see. It's not the slime. Let's see the picture. Alright. Got a 50 50 shot. Uh, I'm going to assume this is the water one. Got it. Okay, we got the arm, uh, the armor. There, let me grab that first. Okay, we got the sword. Shields. All right. Okay. So I think we've got everything we need. We can get out of here. That takes us right here. We put these on. All right. So that's the first saint. First saint is the armor. Okay. 
Alright, second one. Uh, glove. He said what was in the hand. Um, my, oh, hand must be the shield then. Third one. Uh, third one is the helmet. And last would be the sword. Yep, there we go. Same spot. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're almost there, though. We're getting closer. Alright, next puzzle. Alright, we got, we got two torches. We got nine bowls here. Uh, we got a and we got a red and a blue thing. All right, well this is pretty obvious. All right, so we are going to take. Let's start with the red one. Red torch. And come up here. Yeah, come over here. Light that one. Looks like okay. We got the grid, so upper left. Upper right. And bottom middle. Put that back. Got a land shard. To those who might seek out the lost world, the world was divided into four sources, remaining that way to this day. Return the artifacts to the rightful place. Only then will the world reveal its true character. shards that match the color of the pedestal okay so we're not in the right room how about this room oh, another land shard okay oh, this one will work perfect and I think you can rotate the yeah you can rotate these around as well. 
Looks like it might fit right here. Oh, how about this one? There we go. Well, did what I could. Looks like we're missing one shard. It took us a long time to gather the ones we already have. What should we do now? We can investigate a little further or go back to town. It's your choice. Maybe we come this way. You found the world map. Perfect. There we got the map. Not enough room here. <laughs> All right. All right. Whatever. All right. So everything's going to be locked down. More of these in here. Okay. All right. Well, I think we're done with this area. We got to go find the, the last shard. <laughs> That's what they want you to believe. morning. Didn't realize we spent that much time in there. I'll head back to the castle to do some research. Uh, must be some shards out there somewhere. See what information you can scrounge up as well. If you find anything, bring it back to me, okay? See you later. Okay, so I think now is when we're supposed to go home. So I'm going to head back home. Flapper, uh, you've come back. I just got back myself, son. We read the current well, making this year's fishing go better than ever. We uh, hadn't had a year this good since you were born. That was more than 10 years ago. Wait, that year was even better than this year. When I came back from the sea, you were already born. Aww. And suddenly, all I thought about was you. You were born in just five months but completely healthy. When you saw my face, you started bawling. Anyways, it, uh, it was a uh, great catch. I'll sleep well tonight. Whew, I feel great today. Alright, so it's all for him. Ah, oh, Tondora. Okay. Hey, give me another glass. What's another drink? Uh, your uncle Hondura came down again. Came down over again, and it gabbled down your portion of the meal. He brought some wine with him, but he ended up drinking it all himself. What are we ever gonna do with that man?
kind of took it. Uh, he didn't say anything to me. Kana's holding out. Did I find anything unusual? Oh yeah, I did, in fact. There was a strange thing that was caught in the net. Let me see. Looks like some sort of ancient slab. The king should be notified about this. Why don't you tell him while you're visiting the prince? Cool, all right, we got the last shard, okay. Alright, all right, let's go get the prince and get the heck out of here. We got the last shard. Maribel's here. <laughs> Welcome back, Maribel. <laughs> you know something's about to happen when you've got a full party. is about to die but thanks for the stream ah right, no problem Balan. good to see you uh but lurking while helping the kid with the project well hopefully the project goes well and definitely wish uh, mini baja good luck with his exams and that
What's that light? Eee! Amazing! Out. That lady was not as delicate as I would have liked. It seems the great prince keeper head now lies in the dirt like a common peasant. But I think I hurt my pride more than anything else. What happened? Mary Bell, Flabber, you alright? No, I'm not alright. But you can save your misplaced concern for one of your swinging courtesans. I can take care of myself. What happened? Weren't we just at the Fane? Uh, something's definitely not right here. Never seen this place before. I didn't even know a place like this existed on the island. Did you hit your head? You're talking nonsense. Now that you mention it, the sky is unusually dark here. Well, fellas, I wish I could say it's been fun, but I'm going to head back home. Thanks for tagging along. See ya! Oh, bye, Maribel. You're not going far. Well, there's no need for us to stay here any longer. Let's go. Heek! That was Maribel's voice. I know that shrill shriek anywhere. Let's go, Flapper. Let's go find her. Get over here. It's all dead. Ah, we found some slimes. Well, it only took two and a half hours, but I think we got our first fight. Ew, what are they? Their methodic jiggling is making me queasy. Our first fight. some upgrades. <laughs> there, we got rid of one. Victorious. Three XP, three gold. What have the two of you gotten me into this time? What is this place? And why am I standing in this vile blue goo? What were those things? Monsters? Monsters? Were those monsters? What else could they have been? Don't they teach you anything at the castle in time you don't spend drinking and chasing women? Anyway, this is all your fault. You should never have brought uh, me here against my will. Show some responsibility, Flapper, and take me home safely. Monsters. Flapper, do you realize what just happened? We just fought against monsters. Living, breathing monsters. Look at my hand. I'm trembling. Why are you happy at a time like this? Honestly, I'll never understand, man. Anyway, I don't want to stay here forever. Take me back home right now. What? Who are you? We're sorry to have startled you. We mean you no harm. My name is Kiefer. I am the Prince of Estard. Estard, but it can't be. Oh, and that is Flapper and Marybelle. They're my lackeys. So rude. <clears throat> We're his friends. Um, oh, forgive me. My name is Matilda. Matilda, huh? 
Why are you out here in the dark cutting weeds? I picked the weeds as an offering for those graves. What? You're planting weeds on the grave on purpose? The weeds are in place of flowers. As you can see, there aren't any flowers blooming around here. But I thought uh, there would at least be some weeds. Oh, well if you want some flowers, I got some. Well, I got some seeds anyway. Flower seeds? I picked them up in Estard Forest. I was thinking of planting them around my house. Oh my, would you mind sharing a few of those seeds? Of course, you can have them all. Thank you so much. I'll go and plant them right now. That should help calm the spirits of the dead. The dead. By the way, uh, where are you three headed? Well, for the time being, we'd like to find a way to return to our homes. Hate to say it, but you, uh, you shan't be able to return to your homes anytime soon. However, there is a place for you to rest in the village on the other side of the forest. In appreciation for the seeds, I shall accompany you there. Party hype. Alright, party of four. Well, shall we go? Once we emerge from this forest, the village will be immediately to the east. Gee, I wonder which way it is. It's right here. Hey, Flapper, wait a minute. Where in the world did Matilda go? I don't see her anywhere. You're right. Maybe she rushed home. She is from this insufferable looking village after all. Honestly, only someone of little refinement would leave without saying goodbye. Oh well. Alright, explore time. Arr, can't believe that I'm being forced to tear down my house with my own hands. What did I do to deserve this? Why bother? It's not like things will get any better. What am I doing? Well, I can't do tell. I'm tearing down my house. What do you mean, why? You looking to start a fight with me? I've got a wife to worry about. What if she never comes back? Interesting. Trees are so disciplined. Even if you set one on fire, it will stand there without much as a word. What are you doing? There's nothing but trees back here. You are not stupid and impotent, are you? Really? Good. There's nothing back here anyway. Well, that usually means there is. Don't find anything by surprise. Got a house back here. Who's there? Oh, woo. you scared me. Come on inside. I thought monsters had discovered us. My name's Patrick. Judging by your mismatched armor and massive weapons, you appear to be adventurers. I have something I must ask you. Have you come across a woman by the name of Matilda? We have. You did? Good, good. She protects this village from monsters, but we haven't seen her recently. With Matilda gone and my father injured, who's left to protect our insignificant village? Certainly not the cowards who call themselves men. Ow. Ugh. It's waking up. Father, are you alright? How do you feel? said bed rest won't be enough to heal the injury. Southeast of here, 
There's a mine where the workers dig for gems called color stones. It may be possible to heal my father using the properties of a green color stone. Even a fragment from one, a green orb, would be sufficient. But the mine is full of monsters and the villagers are cowardly and weak. I have faith in Matilda's strength as a hearted warrior, so I intended to ask her to help. If you see her, could you ask her for me? I'll do what I can, but I must continue to tend to my father's bedside. There was supposed to be a huge, magnificent temple built here, but one cannot ask for a luxury in times like these. Anyway, well, we found the church, I guess. We'll do a quick save. All over this cheerful farm of mine is ruined. Patrick's looking for green color stones. Green color stones contain highly potent crystals known as green orbs. We've been mining them for ages uh, for their medicinal power. Who knows how many are left. Okay. Alright. Alright, so this is the inn. Nine gold to stay at the inn. Looks like there's a uh, back door here. Useful. Hey, we found a cl another cloth. Here's the whole story. Uh, this home used to belong to Patrick and his father Hank. We traded houses so the monsters wouldn't find him while he recovers from his injuries. That's why you can't tell anybody about this, alright? This is a weapon armor shop, how can I help you? I'll buy weapons. Eric. Alright, what do we got? Got some good stuff here. Uh, I could do a club or a pole. I got 167 gold. I'm thinking at this point, I just want to do weapons right now. Um, I might do a club. That's the most I can get for a weapon um, with what I have. So I'm going to do a club. 
That'll get me uh, basically double my attack power. So far, nobody would want the cloth. So I could probably sell the cloth. Just enough, I could get a leather shield. The shield's probably the best right now. It's the biggest improvement. I'm gonna get a shield. Would you like to hear this legend of Rex, the hero of our village? Sure. 20 years ago, when monsters first attacked our village, villagers gathered together and put aside their uh, disparate views to find a solution. After endless debate, they resolved to defeat the formidable beast, but first, a courageous young man was sent off alone to the monster's lair. The plan was for the others to follow soon after him in full force, but not a single soul went. No one could summon the courage to do so, and so the brave warrior took on the monsters, waiting for help that never came. After emerging victorious over the monsters, he collapsed to his knees and perished under their lair. The hero's name was Rex. Since that day, in commemoration of his valiant deeds, our town has been known as Rexwood. <laughs> hey, guy, how's it going? Good to see you. 
Don't mind me, I'm just gonna loot your house. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I never played this version of Diku Uh Okay, you got the 3DS. Yeah, I was, like I said, I was considered the 3DS as well. But I decided to go ahead and do the PlayStation version. I just like the 2D uh, uh, sprite work. Plus, it's kind of a pain to uh, string the 3DS. It's a lot easier to just play on the uh, PlayStation as well, anyway. Alright. Think that's everything in town? Okay, so this must be the, uh, where the green, uh, the, those green uh, color stones are. Uh, it's a bit of a difference. There's a, it's, it's a remake. I'm one that, so to speak. They changed some things around. Um, I mean, you got the, the artwork is different, obviously. It's more of a 3D versus the uh, 2D hero style. Uh, Advanced Wars or, um, uh, oh, sorry, uh, got home, just got the Advanced Wars reboot camp on Switch, uh, had a hard time choosing, uh, the, oh, that or the Mega Man Battle Network. Flip the coin, Advanced Wars came out. <laughs> well, we know which one Land would choose if, uh, if they, if that was the option for Land. Hey, I got another herb. We'll hold on to that. Uh, let's go in here. What are you doing at a time like this? The mines are full of monsters. If you don't have any business here, you should turn back. I do love my herbs. <laughs> All right, so I oh, I just left. Okay. All right, uh, I guess we'll go in here. Let's make sure there's nothing hidden. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I see Mirabel or uh, Matilda. Yeah, boss fight. Well, not boss fight, but got a first fight. Let's see what damage I can do to them. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Flapper, uh, he's got the good weapon, so he can definitely do damage. Just thinking some money or something. Let's see. Uh, 8 XP, 12 gold, no level up yet. Mm -hmm. Hey, Matilda. Flabber to think that I would meet you again in such a place as this. What are you doing here? Me? I sense monsters in the depths of the mine, so I came here to see whether anyone had gotten into trouble or not. Now that you mention it, Kiefer told Patrick's wish to Matilda. 
So the boy is in search of the green orb for his father. If you could find some green color stones, you could obtain the green orb that you seek. That is, if there are any left to be found. I am unsure whether any green color stones still remain in the mine. I am in a great hurry, so I must ask you to please excuse me. She's suspicious. You may think uh, this is cold of me, but I can't concern myself solely with that little boy. Goodbye. She's no help to us. She just turned her back on the little boy's problems. It seems that a vicious um, mass of depravity now rests where Matilda's heart once was. Well, can't be helped. Should we go search for the green orb ourselves? I think we're gonna go. I wanna check the sign. I don't know if I want to go too far just yet, because... Need some level, level need some uh, XP and all that. 5 XP. Alright, level up though. Flapper was promoted to level two. Okay. Strength plus one. Be careful how you handle the color stones, they break easily. Alright. I'm gonna go to that, I wanna go to that staircase. Let's fight the eggplant first. Level up. It's gonna be Kiefer. Yep, Kiefer. I probably could have afforded both if they didn't buy. Uh, oh, if I didn't buy the Final Fantasy remasters early, we yeah, well, that would do it too. <laughs> uh, were they? Are they having a problem physical? That sucks. You will think with that being kind of a uh, kind of a retro remake and all that remaster. I mean, people are gonna probably want that game physical. I mean, uh, on, uh, digital is fine and all, but you definitely want to, people are going to want to have that physical, I, I would imagine. I'm annoyed a little that the Pixar masters aren't enough. Oh, are they not? Oh, I didn't realize that. So it's just on the, like, the PS4, PS5 and all that and the, and the Switch. Tony's trying to, uh, oh, uh, they got some exclusivity. Final Fantasy VI PS5 exclusive. Yeah, that one I don't surprise. Uh, 
this a dead end? <laughs> This was a dead end. Alright. Nope, nothing there. <laughs> yep, gotta be slimes. Can't have anything else. Nintendo didn't release a trailer launch for their uh, Pixel Remaster. Mm. Uh, okay. strength. Is she gonna be like a, a mage or something? She feels like a mage character. XP, nine gold. How much gold do I have? Uh, fifty seven gold. Kiefer's got some good strength. He's at thirteen. I'm only at a nine. Got more attack. Interesting. Oh, it's probably because of the weapon. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. I thought Maribel was super weak. She's only got four attack. intelligence so she's uh, she looks like a midget she looks like a like a white mage <laughs> oh god this could go for a while and I don't have a lot of health to work with all right I'm gonna head back I'm gonna probably heal up and maybe come back I'm 
mostly worried about Mary Bell right now. Hey, two points all I needed for a level up. All right, Flabber gets level three. HP by three. Magic points by four. Hopefully I get some magic uh, powers. Strength plus one. Agility, intelligence, guard. Hey, oh, awesome. Oh, perfect. Flapper learns heal. Alright, so it uses two magic points. That would, uh... Knowing that, you could probably go a lot deeper. With heal, you can go a lot deeper in this cave. So you're gonna get about... Right now I can get three heals. So Flabber can do a heal three times. Uh-oh, dropped their treasure chest. Oh, they can do that, nice. Flapper urn. Uh, hey, we got an herb. I'll take it. Alright, we'll do a quick. How oh, is the, the ends are expensive? Ends are relatively expensive at this part of the game. I got 66 gold and it's going to cost me 9 to heal. You get a wonder what I can do for like armor if I should get armor now or should I hold off. Where's that armor shop at? Thank you. 
dude. Yeah, it's that dude, okay. <laughs> Playing Final Fantasy 1 on Switch. Been a minute since I played, yeah. But with the light up, I should be fine. Uh, I got Guy the Warrior. Uh, View the Monk. Ball in the White Mage. There you go. And Flapper the Red Mage. There you go. We got you, right? Alright, so we got 57 gold. I could really do something for me. I'm, wor I'm most worried about Mary Bell. I wonder if I should spend the money and get her a pole. Because she can't do the club or, cop uh, or copper anyway. I could spend 50 and, and more than double her attack power. The other stuff is probably a bit too expensive. Maribel can't do much there. Maybe it's too much for shield. Can't get to that stuff yet. Leather shield. It doesn't help Maribel either. So the only way to help Maribel would be the pull. That's the only thing she can do. Everything else she's kind of stuck with. Yeah, I think I I think I'm gonna have to get the pull for her. Let me just double check, make sure I don't have nothing else in my inventory. Give you the wrong button. Uh, let's see. Do I have the club for me, acorn. No. Okay. Nope. Okay. All right. Let's get her a pull. She might have, I'm assuming she was fighting barehanded before. Alright, that's all I can do. fights in the overworld here, okay. I was thinking it was just in the dungeons. Plus two,
Alright. Too bad I don't have like a web where you can hit multiple enemies. Ooh, crit shot! 17 damage. Level up. Alright, Maribel. A little more HP is gonna be helpful. Magic power buff, I'd give her a spell, would you? Plus one strength though, at least that's good. Oh, nice! Okay, there we go. Maribel gets blaze. Now we're talking. Give her something to work with. There's a difference between skill and cast. No battle skills have been learned. Okay. For me, let's see how that goes. Here, that must be for defense. Yeah, she's. She already counts it automatically. Is there a plan? Uh, Mary Bell, I don't know if... I don't know if I want you using magic just right away. I don't want to save that magic for now. Okay, so left was kind of a dead end, so right is the right answer. But we can get a Shrink Seed. And, ooh, 40 gold. That will definitely help towards an upgrade. Treasure chest. Give me that herb. Keep those herbs coming. Okay. I don't want to go left or down. Let's go left. Take guys at the same spot. Something to the right here. That's a that must be a red color stone.
this way. Switch these two. behind me if I I dang it It's just went out of the way. Okay. Okay. So even if they're not pushed into them, as long as they lined up, they'll break automatically. All right. So that's good to know. three at once if you can push from the the red rock on the left if you can push it to the right it can probably break all three at once Let's see if we can go around dang it block that way Place the red one to the left. Okay, so that breaks that one. Hmm. Puzzle time.
that would work. Maybe I screwed this up? Let me reset the room. You can't even move the other ones. Oh, you can push that. Oh, yes, you can push that down. There. Okay, now I got through. Okay, what do we got here?
12 XP, nice. Uh, there's the green one. How do we lug this huge thing back with us? Tilda's here. Oh good, it looks like you are well. After what happened, I was worried uh, about you going in there by yourself. So I came back. I humbly apologize for abandoning you. I do not know what came over me. That boy is searching for a green orb, isn't he? In that case, allow me to help. Please take this uh, to the boy. Alright, well, we got the shard of it. I had almost forgotten, but I wanted you to have this, Flapper. A wood doll. Alright. Out of here. All right, we get out of here. for level four. These guys don't mess around.
So I think what we'll do is, uh, as soon as I get back to town, I'll probably heal up. And then, uh, we'll probably go ahead and wrap it up there. Oh boy. Mary, uh, took some damage there. She's got to heal up. So yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. All right, level up. Hey, Maribel learns a spell. She learns sap. Heal up. Actually, how much money do I got? Uh, 155 gold now. We're close to a, uh, I think we're close to getting one of the good weapons. How much do I need for the good weapon? Okay, so copper sword, okay, copper sword, okay, 180 was the leather, okay, the leather armor. Yeah, it does. It takes, uh, it takes about, it took us about, what did I say, two and a half hours, something like that? Yeah, I think it was, uh, I think it was 10.30 when we started, uh, when we got to the fights. We started at 8. So I think it was like two and a half hours to kind of get through to basically you have to get off the whole first island. Uh, let's see, so I could do the leather armor. I'm thinking it's based on what I have and I'm trying to Ooh. Oh, he sucks I'm 
Trying to basically just get the most bang for the buck here, I think. But I think what we'll do is we'll get, uh, I'll probably get the leather for Flapper. That's a plus seven, so that's a good uh, jump in defense for Flapper. If I get the Copper Sword, I mean, it's pretty good. It's 11 points for Kiefer. I could try to save some money and maybe get just the, the club. If I need to save some money, I could get the club. That still gives him eight points of extra offense, which is a good, still a really good amount. <laughs> I think he, he might be fighting. Is he fighting barehanded still? Interesting. Yeah, he's yeah, he doesn't have much on him at all. He's got the traveling uh he's got the traveling thing, but that's it. Even uh even Maribel's got uh better equipment. <laughs> She's got the hair band, the cloth and the pole. So I definitely want to try to bump up Kiefer. So I'll probably I'll probably start by getting him the club uh, for 110. And that still leaves me with uh, that still leaves me with 40 gold. Uh, even with the 3DS version making it easier to get through the beginning, it still takes... Yeah, I, yeah, I think it still takes a while as well. I've heard that on the 3DS they do a little bit of... It tried to streamline it, but uh, I've heard some people say it's a bit too streamlined. And it's a bit more hand-holding. It's another thing I've kind of heard about the 3DS that kind of... Kind of pushed me towards the PS1 to kind of play this one a little bit more. It's a little bit more free. Come up here real quick. We'll give him the give him the uh, the stone here. So please get a good night's rest. Oh, okay, it was free. okay, cool, it's free. Okay, then I came and I talked to this guy first instead of spending it at the end first. Do you think we'll ever get back to Fishbell? There must be some wonderful girls you left behind. Would you get lonely if we never made it home? I want to go home already. I miss my mother and father. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. I'm not that much of a softie. 
Hmm. I should get some sleep. You know, you really shouldn't talk so much. You're more renowned for your silly green hat than for your clever conversation. Good night. Hey, brother. Hey, brother, wait up. Flashback. What is it? Forgot so forget something? It's too dangerous by yourself. You've got to wait for everyone else. Ha ha ha. I want to, believe me. If someone uh, doesn't go quickly, the monsters might get away again. Once I've got them stopped, the rest of the town will come back, uh, will come back me up. If we all work together, even monsters aren't so scary, right? I guess. Is that Matilda as a kid? Well then, I'll be off. Alright, here, I made this for you. A doll? Is that the wood doll? Uh, I know she, uh, looks kind of funny, but I put my heart into it. Take care of her, okay? You bet. Thanks a lot, brother. Okay, well, I'm off. Be good while I'm gone. Yeah, it is Matilda. Matilda. Good morning. Have a good day. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the weapon. I think it's, uh, I think it's a good investment. Uh, oh, this got moved. So you have to say, yeah, same, uh, yeah, yeah, same items here though. All right, so uh, so let me get the club. I'm gonna give that to Kiefer. What else can he? The rest of it is kind of expensive. Shield is only worth four points to Kiefer. As well as the armor, it's kind of expensive. Hey, Zero! Saw your comment on my Discord. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I've heard it's like a hundred hours. <laughs> hey, how you doing, man? Good to see you. We're about to end here, but hope you're doing well. Trying to just, uh, think I'm just, yeah, so we'll go with that. Because it's going to be 1, 220 if I want to wait out, and it's for three points. Expensive. Kind of expensive. Sarah says hi. Uh, we'll tell the squawker we said hello. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's get the club. Should be a good investment for now. So I'm going to get that. And we will give that, give that to Kiefer. Yeah, much better. All right, so that leaves me with 45 gold. How much I can do now? Everything I can sell. I'd rather hold on to the herbs right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, we've got everything we needed, so. <laughs> Your name is an Oreo? No, it's not Oreo. <laughs> Not a cookie, right? <laughs> All right, uh, let's go to the church. I think that's a church, right? It's like off land. I gotta get it over there. Here we go around this way to get to the church.
Save complete. No. <laughs> Thank you for playing. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, so we'll go ahead and wrap it up there, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, definitely continue here. Uh, so next, so it looks like there was that other what it was, uh, it, was like, uh, it was like a little tower or something on the island so we'll go ahead and probably explore that area up next and uh, see what's going on with that uh, but yeah so we'll check it out and uh, we'll see what's going on alright guys alright but hope you guys enjoy the stream um, hope you guys have a good weekend definitely enjoy yourselves um, have a good time um, and like I said, uh, keep my on my Discord. If there's any updates or anything, I will let you guys know on the Discord. Alright, but until next time, guys, take care, stay safe, have a good night, uh, enjoy your weekend, and I will catch y'all next time. Alright, good night, guys.